The criminal case against Park City School District has alarmed some state lawmakers on Utah's Capitol Hill. They say laws they pass could leave the district vulnerable to lawsuits. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has the story. But if we have a compulsory education system, we're requiring the children to be there, that should be the safest place on earth. Representative Ken Ivory says he's troubled by the allegations leveled against the Park City School District. Criminal charges accuse the district of not reporting instances of sexual abuse. That every school has to have a policy and they have to train to the policy and make sure that they're implementing the policy. And boy, it's hard to tell from the facts that we know right now that there's any kind of a policy and that anyone has any awareness of a policy and you know certainly that's a big concern. In 2019 the Utah State Legislature passed a law waiving governmental immunity for school districts that fail to enact any policies to prevent abuse. That means school districts can be sued and be liable for damages. That may come out but based on what we've seen so far it seems like that would clearly be indicated. In a statement, the Park City School District Board of Education says it takes the allegations seriously and prioritizes the safety of students. They ask for the process to play out before assuming negligence or bad intent. The board says it supports the superintendent, her administration, and staff as they continue to provide a safe learning environment for students. So in Utah, we have the mandatory reporting law when it comes to uh, reporting suspected child abuse and neglect. The Utah Division of Child and Family Services says anyone who suspects child abuse must report. This applies to any person um, 18 and up. There are certain exceptions for example, attorney-client privilege, um, unless there is a chance that there could be someone in immediate danger. There's exceptions for clergy in um, specific cases of, you know, say a confessional. Data provided to Fox 13 shows police are the top referral source to DCFS for abuse investigations, followed by family, medical professionals, and schools. Everyone has that responsibility to, to keep children safe. and. Not just because of Utah law, but it's the right thing to do. Representative Ivory says he's spoken to the Summit County attorney and plans legislation in the next session to respond to this case. As we go forward legislatively, we'll look at are there any holes, any gaps that we need to plug based on this situation. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.